Alright guys, in the last video we learned about modems. In this video I want to talk to you about routers, the very basics. So this is a wireless router right here and remember in the scenario where the dude, he gave us the cable and he told us the basics of how to hook up our own home network. He said take this cable, plug it into the modem and then from the modem take an ethernet cable, stick it in your router and then all your devices can connect to your router so let's say that we have a laptop and we wanted to you know connect it with the ethernet cable and also maybe our iMac can connect to our router and the router can also since this has wireless capabilities connect to wireless devices such as phones tablets whatever now just by looking at this and not understanding anything else about routers we can already see the basics of what's happening now we see that these devices, all of the devices that we have inside our home, our laptops, our Macs, our you know phones, tablets, whatever, all of these devices aren't communicating directly with one another. They're communicating through this central device called a router. Now there are actually two main types of routers that are popular nowadays. Whenever you see a router and it has antennas on it like this, that means that it has wireless capabilities and wireless devices you know like tablets phones and even laptops they all have wireless cards in them and also let me see if I can pull another one up alright now this is another type of router and this is only a wired router so you can only connect devices that have an ethernet port in other words like I don't know maybe you just have a bunch of um, PCs that are all connected through Ethernet and they don't have any wireless cards then maybe you just want to get a router like this and we'll talk about the benefits and drawbacks of each one in the upcoming tutorials and I'll actually show you guys this so this is the router that I bought for my upcoming tutorials whenever I show you guys hands-on how to you know set everything up and configure all your different devices and as you can see since it has these little antennas right here it must mean that it supports both wired and wireless devices which it does and if you look at the back of it I'll talk you guys through this real quick this black little plug that's just for the power this first the blue port the reason that you have one blue and four yellow ones is because the blue port is where you take the ethernet that's coming from the modem and you plug that into the blue port on your router and the yellow ports these four different ports right here that is for let's say you have four different PCs that are all wired through Ethernet and you want to hook them up to the internet that's where you plug those in so again there you go that's a real basic overview I don't want to you know give you guys too much information and spoil up but that's the basics of what a router is and again there are a lot more to routers than what I'm demonstrating in this video but for right now I just want to give you guys a real broad overview and later on whenever we take a look at more complex networks other than you know just a really simple home network you're gonna see that another job of a router is actually to decide the best route for your data to travel so between your computer in your home and let's say Google's web server that data can take a bunch of different routes and whenever it gets to a router and it's gonna come across a bunch of them you know whenever it's whenever you're just going to any website that router has to decide what path that data is going to take and it's actually pretty cool how it decides and I'll explain all that later on but for now just remember that a router is what all of your devices are going to connect to and also routers join networks together that's a key point if you understand one thing take that away so in other words in this example your router is joining two networks together your home network and the internet which is the biggest network of all so whenever you buy internet from whatever company you decide to buy it from what they're gonna do is they're gonna come to your house they're gonna give you a cable and it's gonna hook up to a modem you're gonna take an ethernet and connect that to a router and all of your devices are gonna be able to connect to that router and eventually get internet however there are some other devices for some more complex networks that I want to talk to you guys about but those will wait for the next tutorial, so I will see you guys then.